Okay. Oh, hold on. Donated $200. Oh. Hi, hey. I'm Envy and fairly new here. Thank you. By all means, you may sneeze as my presence bless you all. <laughs> so, Brian, might you in detail explain hoflation? Mm. I've heard you've a wealth of supporting info about it. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of... <laughs> uh, yo, thank you for the uh, TTS. Appreciate it. Hoflation. Hoflation. Basically, I mean, the, the way I've had it explained to me and kind of my understanding about it is... The example I like to give is basically, oh my God, it's something, I haven't used this term in such a, in a minute. So the grandfather, God, I'm so, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting a new job, I'm a terrible host. Um, I get it, I see your comments. Okay, oh, thank you, Candid. Candid Dance has oh, donated $200. I'll get back to it. There is a difference between circular and tautological. Finish the book next time instead of stopping when you think it proved your point. What does is, what is the tautology have to do with anything I just said? Yeah, There's what's nothing, the tautology? There was nothing I just said that was tautological, and ultimately, basically, all arguments are circular. You're all still, circular. to be still. perfectly candid, give you a candid answer, Come you're on, still candid. a fucking idiot. <laughs> but oh, wait, wait, hang on. You're a fucking idiot, and you're stupid. There's your tautology. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Shots fired. Okay. Is that tautological enough for you? All right. Um, Wait, so, okay, hoflation. All right, base, oh my God, I can't, it's not even coming to me, guys, but basically that it's something like men have to work, oh, okay, it's men have to work 10 times as hard as their grandfathers did for women who are 20 times as worse as their grandmothers. That's hoflation. Mm. That's hoflation. Mike Davis donated hey, it is $200. Mike Davis, thank you, Andrew my friend. Wilson got the energy of an overnight drive through worker. Uh -oh, Girls' financial advice is BS. Uh -oh. The trick isn't to spend less but make more. Forget these hoes. Whoa. Be like Mike Davis who married the oh money. God. Bro, why is the, the TTS to the panel? The TTS has been very you know, a, little, a little rough tonight. They've been a little vulgar, a little mean. Mike Davis, he's usually very polite with the women. He works at a Burger King. So he, <laughs> he I, okay. Thank you, Mike. He, Thank sorry, you, Mike. He, he owns wow. multiple Burger Kings. I don't know, do we still have that photo of him anywhere? It's been a while since we've pulled it up. Nick, if you can find that, uh, I need, so Visual Dawn, does it, or wait, no, who asked the question about the hoflation? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, oh, it was NVME. Thank you, yes, basically, um, Hopeflation. <laughs> Here, okay, here's another way to look at it. Basically, women are always going to be attracted to traditional treatment from men. And there's tons of these clips of like liberal women who are outwardly liberal. They got color in their hair. They describe themselves as progressive or liberal or Democrat. But they, always, they make these TikToks and they're like, well, I'm a liberal and I'm a feminist, but like I, I want the conservative guy who doesn't have conservative values because I like the kind of treatment they provide to me, their providers, their protectors, et cetera. They're gonna fall into their more traditional role when it comes to dating. But you have these women who, despite desiring traditional treatment from men, want to be modern, traditional women. They wanna take revealing and provocative photos and blast them on the internet, whether it's Instagram or whether it's doing sex work, whether it's OnlyFans, they want to go out to nightclubs and dress up all skimpy. They want to have a bunch of casual sex in their 20s. And then in their 30s, they want to finally settle down after they've had their fun and have racked up massive body counts and then find a nice guy to settle down with. Um, and that is hoflation. Okay. Nobody. All right, it's gonna be pulling teeth tonight. Okay. Um, wait. What were? Oh, pull up Mike Davis. Did you get it? Did you know? Were you able to find the photo? Oh, guys, this is Mike Davis. Look at it. He's a, he works at Burger King. He owns like a hundred, hundred fifty Burger Kings in the uh, greater tri-state area of New York. That area. Wow. So yeah, he's uh, you know you know he's doing well. All right. Thank you, Mike Davis. Good to see you in the chat. We have Rick Bungle here. Brixton, do you have any dating advice for gay men? Would love to hear. Well, I don't know what's going on tonight. For I have some. Men, from, don't from, be gay. Uh, God, Jesus Christ. You're going to get me canceled. No. Well, that, I mean, that would be my advice. <laughs> okay. Um, from the women on the panel as well, dating is extremely hard for gay men. Is it? Or are you just, this is probably some fucking troll thing. I hear gay men 
have it pre- well maybe it's pretty easy when it comes to getting sex with like grinder that shit <laughs> i hear it's hard to get a committed it's uh, hard to get a committed partner. relationship that's what Isn't i heard it? i thought it was easy. i thought dating for gay men they had it pretty easy i, didn't I don't know i don't know about dating <laughs> i would have asked my brother <laughs> well uh what do you any dating advice for for gay men He's asking me specifically as if I would have some sort of I mean, inside, I cooked in inside on this. Uh, I would say, uh, you know, Rick, you ought to uh, wear a bunch of flannels. That'll do it for you. Okay, thank you, Rick. That will get you all the men. Uh, they like the, the uh, what's it called? The... Lumberjacks? Lumberjacks, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Here, let me pull this up. Visual Dawn, last chance, Brian, who are the two opposing generals in the World War II <laughs> North African campaign? Ladies on the panel, name three countries besides the United States, Canada, or Mexico. I'll answer after they go ahead. Oh, Luxembourg, Oman, Italy. Russia, Germany, and China. Greece, Turkey, Morocco. Uh, Ghana, Kenya, and Morocco. Sorry, what was the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> Just three countries at all? Other yeah. than US, Canada, Mexico. Yeah. Okay. Um, Italy, France, Spain? Uh, Algeria, Libya, Tunisia. Okay, that was good. Okay, so uh, Rommel, right? Rommel was. Yeah, that was the Desert Fox. Yeah, Desert Fox. I don't know who the British or. I mean, I, initially, I believe it was primarily uh, the British forces in North Africa. I think, oh my God, I, geez. later <coughs> on, I'm pretty sure the United States came in. Candid answers donated $200. I only know Rommel, You can though. tell I, I got to Rommel. Andrew because he isn't even trying to sound smart. <laughs> the more you slam me, the more childish you sound. Your poor wife, you fake being a Christian to feel superior. Any, well, I mean, anything else? You just literally sent in, what, $600 because <laughs> you're mad at me? I have this effect. <laughs> the TTS is, they want smoke from everybody on the, they, I'm getting attacked for my apparent lack of World War II <laughs> historical information. They're attacking Andrew. They're attacking everybody on the panel. So, okay. It's, they want uh, blood for the blood. They want, really yeah, dude, tonight. the TTS wants fucking blood tonight. Holy shit. Yeah, I feel yeah. a little left out. I was thinking I'd oh, get more don't, Oh, don't. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> you have, you have summoned, I'm warning you, no. you've just summoned the trolls. I've trained for this. I'm good. You're ready for yes. the onslaught that's about? Yes. My, okay. my boyfriend and I have been practicing at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's he's just been de degrading you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a little extreme, but he's, that's what he's girls preparing should... me. <laughs> Actually, that's what we should tell the girls like in our pre-show information we send out. By the way, if you have like a boyfriend or something, or like you, you're on a Discord, just have them degrade you for five hours. <laughs> That's to prepare for the whatever podcast. That's that great. Mm -hmm. what we should start telling the women. Uh, uh, okay, so 